Hi guys, welcome to Aero Design Studio and uh, today we'll be learning the software Fusion 360. Uh, we'll attempt our very first tutorial today. We'll make this uh, particular engineering drawing model into this uh, Fusion 360, Autodesk Fusion 360. And uh, let's uh, learn how it is being created and what are the basic uh, principles, mannerisms that are being followed while creating this uh, particular object. Uh, I'm having the current version of Fusion 360 and uh, you can just see the onboard uh, style what it is having I'm into the model mode and this all the rest things are very basic uh, you might be knowing if you have the software and uh, this is the object which is to be created in this Fusion 360 now before creating the object we'll just uh, do a summary like uh, what is uh, to be created uh, this object uh, anytime whatever you make uh, whatever you model you just uh, split up into portions into operations like this object is split up into four different operations the base plate this complete thing and uh, I'll just uh, I'll just uh, this base plate then you can just see uh, this is the back plate then this is the cylinder and this is the secondary cylinder so let's start with the base plate the dimension of the, of the base plate are 85 by 140 and the height of the cylinder is 18 it is having two cylindrical uh, cuts of a uh, diameter 16 separated by 70 mm and from this origin it is uh, 35 and uh, 30 at this offset and uh, there is one more cut below which is at 3 mm height right from here separated from 18 18 from both origins so let's make this plate in this uh, software right now the very first thing what I'll be doing in the software is right now I'm coming over here I'll just make the origin on for my ease so I've made the origin on I'll now go into sketch mode I'll be drafting this uh, sketch of this rectangle in the software that is 85 by 140 and then these two circles as well so I'll just say sketch and I'll select the sketch of plane now this is the plane on which my plate is to be rested so I'll be selecting this particular thing I have selected now I'll just say rectangle and I'll open it this while opening only you need to specify the dimensions so it is 85 and then uh, you can say tab see that 85 is being locked and then at this point you can just uh, type down 140 so that is 85 by 140 you have it now uh, I like to uh, I like the object to be aligned to origin so I'll just select these two points uh, pressing the control key and in the sketch palette uh, constraints you can just say coincident so this complete thing uh, superimposes itself onto the origin it's a good habit that you should start uh, right from the origin so it's a good habit that uh, makes the assembly the future aspects the future perspectives of the product the model more easier now what we'll be doing is we'll be making the two circles which are promised over here that is uh, 35 and 30 and the diameter of the circles are 16 so what I'll just do is I'll just say C for circle or even even you can say circle center diameter and you can just you know like click and open it uh, now it is 516 so I'll just write down 16 uh, now I just need to make sure that at what distance it is lying I'll just uh, click this point and control and click this point and say D so this is 35 already it's okay is it to be 35 I'll just check yes it is to be 35 I just check whether this is 30 I'll just make it sure that it's 35 it is 30 again it is 30 All right it's pretty I have an accurate hand over it so I'm able to manage the things the uh, very well I just make one more circle over here which is a bit larger than that I just want to show you that uh, you just need to select both of them and just press the constraint equal up so that they both of them get equaled up now in this also what you need to do you need to first select that circle which is to be the properties of which are to be superimposed on the next and then select which is the target uh, geometry just check out whether this and this uh, things are uh, common or not uh, now this is supposed to be common because it lies into one line so let it be okay I'll say this so this is the geometry which I'm having right now I'll just uh, do one thing I'll just to stop sketch and I'll come in home now this is the object which I'm having I'll just click it this way and I'll say create and uh, I'll just say extrude or even I can just you know, like uh, click this region and say E and then type down as an 18 so the height 18 will be managed to this object right now now I'll just try to give this cut uh, which is uh, below the plate now what I'll do is I'll just say sketch I just you know orbit it by shift and middle mouse button 
and sketch and I'll just draft this as a sketch and I'll make one simple line over here I'll make one more simple line over here now I'll just manage the distances from this D I'll just say this has to be 18 and this also has to be 18 so the things are done again I'll say stop sketch again I have a base plate over here I just click it and say E and I just move uh, reverse minus 6 I'll take it as 6 so it's a cut of 6 mm right from below uh, in the drawing it is given 3 but let us take it as 6 because uh, 6 is a bit deep and is quite pretty noticeable uh, now let's make this plate uh, now what I'll do is I'll just make all the uh, sketches on this plane on this back plane and then I'll keep on extracting them so my work will be lessened up so what I'll do is I'll just select the sketching plane and I'll just press this one okay now according to the orientation of the object I'll just uh, make a circle over here and I'll just uh, place it over here I'll just see D and uh, it is 40 and I'll make a line right from here to this point I'll make this and uh, I'll just see D uh, no, like this point again okay no no issues but we can do one more thing I can like uh, we can just make a circle right from here and then it is 40 so we have the circle placed over here again we'll make uh, one circle this one now see this is uh, at a distance of 38 I just need to manage this distance again so this is 38 and the line also is uh, quite attached to it 38 now this distance and this distance is supposed to be how much it is supposed to be 100 so it is 100 and this distance and this distance is supposed to be 50 so this is my circle both of the circles are placed first line right from this point I'll place it on the tangent again I'll just hover it a bit and I'll just drag myself to this intersection and uh, leave a line again the same way right from this intersection to this point so I have uh, this extra line so I can see trim or might be you can just say T also for trimming I'll keep uh, the regions as in um, uh, so that I can uh, use these sketches uh, laterly I'll just you know coincident these two things right now okay uh, circle this is uh, I guess how much 530 that is 30 diameter and this is uh, 518 so let us make it it's 18 so we have this total geometry now right so what I'll do is I'll just say stop sketch I have this geometry I'll just select this and say E and uh, say minus 12 because it will come in the reverse manner again I'll say right click and uh, or even you can like um, wait for a while and you can just make on the sketch and directly without going into the sketcher mode you can uh, say extrude and minus 30 is the extrusion let us say it's 24 over here let it be 30 whatever say extrude again now see the total length of the object here is uh, 36 so in the extrude palette I have selected one region and uh, this is the edge uh, where my circle is located right now this edge so this is 36 so mainly uh, from this point it has to be 12 here and 24 here so what I'll do is I'll say both sides uh, two sides extrusion and I'll just say 24 over here uh, sorry it has 12 and this is 24 and make sure that it is joined I say okay so this is the object right now just we need to attach this round over here you can say modify you can say fillet as well you can even make that into a sketcher mode but for ease of understanding so that fillet will be also covered I have made it so this is the object uh, which we have created uh, with fusion 360 in a very easy mode you can just make it out like uh, this is the object what we have created so guys I hope you have enjoyed the tutorial and uh, next time we'll be making more uh, this sort of objects so that you get in crux of the software uh, very easily and uh, whatever you feel that you, whatever queries you have you can ask me on my channel comment on my 
videos and uh, you'll get the answers from my side um, hope you guys subscribe my channel for uh, more understanding for more better education over software aspects and let us see that we can um, uh, calculatively we can make the software sphering better so i was rajan pradhan um, narrating you this total thing and i'm uh, 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 presenting this tutorial on behalf of aero design studio to you so please guys subscribe my channel and be with me to experience this or it is question 360 thanks a lot thanks a ton have a great day ahead